Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry for the handhold. I am doing a run and gun video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Big Ball Vlogs. I do reviews, comparison shopping, and it's very dark because I don't have a light in front of me or at least a bright enough light. I do reviews, comparison shopping, and everyday vlogging. Um, if you're interested in something like that, if this video is entertaining or educational, um, please consider clicking the like button, subscribing to, subscribing to the channel, and maybe clicking the notification button for new videos when they post. I gotta get used to saying that. I gotta get into that vlogger uh, routine. Um, if you guys uh, have seen in the in my videos behind me I've gotten into I gotten back into the aquarium game and over the last couple months I have been you know doing that same thing I've been doing with the channel buying stuff testing it out um, looking for something for less cost but a lot of bang for the buck and today I'm going to be focusing on lighting um, lighting is one of the key key uh, tools that you need for having a successful reef tank that tank back there is 36 inches wide it has a four bulb um, <clears throat> T5 setup on it with a single pendant just for some shimmer. Um, and T5s are the old tried and true trusted uh, bulbs. Now my ATO, it never fails that when I'm talking, something wants to go crazy on me. Let's unplug the ATO because the ATO wants to go off, the phone wants to go off while I'm recording. So anyway, T5 tried and true, um, but I kind of wanted to get into LEDs because they just seem simpler. They last longer, they're more efficient. Um, they cost less to run um, <clears throat> and they're cooler. So, but for that tank, it was, uh, you know, a 36 inch fixture, which I'm gonna have to spend at least an amount of money to cover it. But I just wanted to find something that didn't cost, you know, a, a, an arm and a leg to do it. And a lot of guys spent thousands and thousands of dollars on the lights, not knocking you for doing it. If you wanna put a $500 light over a 10 gallon uh, nano reef, but for me, I'm trying to spend more money on what's in the tank than what's on the tank. So, with that said, um, I came across this light on uh, Amazon. It is rebranded by two companies. One company is called Bosley. The other company is called Relassi. I bought the Relassi version because it was on sale for Black Friday. I had been watching the light for several months in my cart, um, just waiting for like a price change or a coupon code or something to pop up. On Black Friday, it dropped about $40. I decided to pick it up because it seemed like it had a lot of bang for the buck, features-wise and power-wise. It seemed like it was suitable, and it had accumulated a lot of positive feedback or reviews from the people who had bought it. Um, there were some who said, yeah, it caught on fire. I mean, I didn't see multiple that said it caught on fire. And usually when I'm looking at reviews on Amazon, I'm looking for a ratio of good to bad. I'm looking for how many positive. You know, if it's got, you know, 10,000 positive and five bad, I'm not going to focus on what was bad about it, or I'm not going to you know focus on those five lights that burn up because toasters burn up TVs burn up a lot of things burn up when there's a bad solder joint or something like that so I wanted to go by what people were saying and what people were saying is that this light was absolutely amazing so again I pick one up and let's get into the box I'm gonna to try to keep this from being a long-winded video but you know how I get I get to talking about things and I want to give you all the details um, so the box was pretty generic. I mean, they didn't, you know, you know, go all out on the box. And maybe to keep the cost down on the light, came in a generic brown box with some foam padding. The light does fold in half in the middle, so it's about I think 22 inches long. We'll check it out in a second. And it was about folded down to about 11 or 20 or 12 inches in this box. Came with some basic uh, information, uh, what they call. A user's manual which told you what was in the box you got the light you got the hanging equipment you got the power cord and it tells you you know your your specifications and insulation so let's look at the specifications real quick a product is 22 by 11 by uh, 7.7 uh, uh, inches wide that's about the width of my thumbnail um, weight of it is 330 grams uh, it can run off of 110 or 220 temperature that they say that this light runs at is 4 degree or negative 4 Fahrenheit um, to positive 122 Fahrenheit uh, and I'm reading this through my camera instead of reading this over so maybe I'll help if I read over top of it uh, let's see uh, power cord length 4.9 volt uh, 4.9 feet uh, frequency 50 to 60 gigahertz waterproof grade is IP25 I should have looked that up to see what that is I know there's an IPS or IP rating for phones I got to look up what IP25 is and warranty is two years keep that in mind there's a two-year warranty on it and from what I've read online people who have bought this and even if it burnt out after like a year and a half got a new one within four days also gave you some other suggested using uh, usage uh, information and uh, contact information at the bottom came with a thank you card uh, from Lassie and uh, you know how to contact them through uh, for the services through Amazon or their Facebook page or their social media pages also came with uh, an instruction manual which I thought this was Chinese but it seems like this may I don't I'm not sure what language this is but this seems like this may be like German or something this does not this is not Chinese so normally when you buy a Chinese light um, 
it's pretty much in Chinese. Uh, the, the, the other language is Chinese. This does not have Chinese. It doesn't have anything that references Chinese. It's only had two languages here, which I don't know what this is again. Maybe I should have, if I use my Google Translate, it would tell me. If anybody knows what this language is, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And the other language is English. So um, maybe it's not a Chinese brand of light. But in the English version, it tells you what the light can do. It gives you a picture of the light. You're going to have to download the uh, application from this website. It didn't show up on the um, app stores. I didn't try it for iPhone, but it didn't show up on the uh, Google Play Store. Um, and if you have a Google Play phone, if you're downloading uh, applications that are not approved for the store, you're going to have to take a couple extra steps that you have to go through in securities that allow you to download uh, third-party software. Um, but then it tells you how to use the light. You have the dimming controls. There are several different dimming controls, um, which I'll get into when I can get to the application. But brief look here. These are different icons that you got. You got white you got blue you got something that's called full power you got dual channel blue and white um, if you click on either of these it'll give you different ways of adjusting the light um, there's also uh, like it's this free proportion where you can adjust I think dual power means it adjusts blue and white at the same time and it's free proportion you're allowed to adjust you're you're able to, to adjust the blue and white independently and this is the uh, the dual channel one where if you just slid this it would probably adjust them both at the same time to give you a specific brightness also based on the uh, adjustments that you put in you're able to select quick presets of 25 50 or 100 and depending on which one of these you click it might change so I believe when I clicked on white it went down to like 5% um, where Whereas blues, it only went down to 25%. Um, you have a rotary wheel here. This is actually really sensitive. Uh, all these controls are really sensitive. The app seems to work pretty good. Um, when you get here, and like I said, when I get into the app, I'll kind of point this out. It tells you that you can use the timing for different days. So I can set different timing schedule, schedules off and on, Monday through Sunday. Um, but it also says that you can set up uh, a daylight or day sunshine, su uh, su sunrise, sunset modes, and I have not figured out how to do that. Um, it does not allow me to, through the programming feature for timing, select blue or white and give it different uh, times to come on and go off. So I'm thinking what they're saying that you can do in this is, you know, if you want the whites to come on on Monday at... Um, 7 o'clock, and then the blues to come on at uh, 7.30, and then do the opposite on the end of the day, you would get like a sunrise, sunset effect. And on Amazon, it actually had a picture which looks like it went through a sunrise, sunset effect. And I have, like I said, I haven't been able to get that to work on this one. You also have a couple extra little device management things here. You can use um, the same app for multiple lights if you wanted to. So if you wanted to buy two of these, you can control them with the same application at the same time. Um, and that's pretty much it. Very basic, very generic. So let's get back to the light. And this is the light. Um, light is... Uh, 22 inches wide. This is a 24 inch Nouveau Marine, uh, innovative Marine Nouveau tank. Um, and it covers the bottom of this tank, corner to corner, penetrating all the way down based on the settings that I have right now. And I know a lot of guys don't run a lot of white in their tank. Um, the white balance is probably compensating for this on this camera, but I have the whites down to about 5%, 5 to 10%, um, or 5, 5 to 10 watts. And I got the blues up to about 90 watts. So I've got some decent penetration on this tank. And while it looks super blue um, through this camera, it's not quite as blue to the to the... To the naked eye um, but um, performance wise from what I can tell you I've been using this comparing it to other lights uh, this light here also another very nice light for 40 bucks made by a company called Lumini they compare it to like a, an Astra 20 not an Astra this is called an Astra 20 but they compare it to um, a Kessel Tuna one uh, Kessel Tuna 80 or 180 and then I also had this was my um, uh, current marine gen 1 400 par here maximum 120 at the bottom of the tank. Um, coral growth with both of these lights was okay. So now I switch over to this light and I've had it since uh, the Monday after Black Friday. Um, and I think I've seen weekly growth versus monthly growth. That piece of uh, sour apple Monte Pura cap back there has, I glued it to the tank about the time I hung this light and I can already see that the thing has grown and actually flattened itself up, up, up against the glass. Um, and the ridges and edges on it have been sticking out, like I said, weekly. I haven't. I wish I would have put a time lapse on it. Everything else seems to be responding very well. Um, because this light is super bright, I mean, when I say super bright, it's supposed to be 300 watts. Um, 
And when I turned it on for the first time, it felt like somebody stabbed me in both of my eyes. I am now able to ramp up the blue a little bit, a little bit of white, and now the penetration to the bottom of the tank is really hitting the bottom. Everything looks to be really good under this light. So at least on a 24, that's not, this is an 18 inch deep tank. Um, I'm only, like I said, I'm not even running that full potential and it's already showing great improvement over a much more expensive light. So. Um, 300 watts, they say it is. Um, I'm running it currently at about 90 watts of blue and 10 watts of white. Um, and when you turn this thing all the way up, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to stress out my clams or anything that are really sensitive to light, um, this thing is so bright blue, you can't even, with the naked eye, really see into that tank. It looks like it is radioactive blue. Would this work on a deeper tank? Um, if they rate it at 300 watts, um, I, that's where I'm going to start questioning the the functionality and the the durability of this light. They do they do not have a heat sink or a fan on this light. And usually lights that run at 300, 165 watts, 300 watts have a fan to be able to cool off those LEDs. So if I were to try to run this at uh, you know full brightness on a tank that is probably twice as deep, I'm probably going to get a lot more heat out of it. And what's going to happen is I'm guaranteeing that those LEDs are going, going to start burning out. Um, unless for some reason this is the heat sink, even still. Um, I don't think it's good enough heat sink, good enough cooling to keep this uh, this panel cool at full brightness for extended periods of time. And that w again, that would depend on how long you run your lights uh, during a day. If you run them 18 hours, this thing is life is going to uh, decrease substantially. Um, now, when it comes to the LEDs, the LEDs look uh, decent inside. They don't look like crappy little LEDs I've seen in some cheaper uh, Chinese fixtures. Um, but people were uh, kind of like worried, thinking that this was not waterproof because there are no um, caps over the LEDs. It's just like a cone, a white cone there where you can kind of stick your finger in there. So the LEDs are underneath a white laminate, um, almost like a clear shrink wrap or something. Um, but like I said, there's no reflector, there's nothing there. So if water was a splash up in there, yes, it could get inside like from some uh, salt creep or if you had some bubbles in there, yeah, it could get up inside those cones, but I don't think it will actually um, damage the LEDs or call the LEDs to uh, corrode or, or, or die out. Um, plugging in, very simple, just plug a cord into the side. It also has a power switch. Oh, bumped it. Also has a power switch there in the back. Um, connecting to the application, very simple. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and I did not have to do anything, it was just plug and play. So, working so far, very good color profile. Um, corals are loving it. Um, hanging it was pretty easy. I just went to uh, Home Depot. I picked up about $6 worth of PVC pipe. I used a three quarter inch pipe. Um, some slip press fittings and pushed them all together and came up with this little arch system here um, and hung it with um, the wires that it came to hang it with but I did modify it with uh, two carabiners instead of one because when I tried to hang it from a center carabiner it started to rotate um, and I just wanted to keep it you know uh, parallel to the top of the tank so let's get into the application really quickly I know I'm getting kind of long-winded like I said I didn't want to and in that short period of time Somehow, I have misplaced my telephone. So let me find my telephone, and then we can get into the application. Okay, I'm back. So application-wise, let me close out some of this stuff. All right, so application-wise, the name of the application is called Magic or iMagic CCT. Again, you can't find this on at least the Play Store. Not sure about the App Store. Um, you have to do it through... Um, a download link or QR code uh, from the instructions that you give, but the application seems to work okay. Um, pretty much the basics of what you need to kind of run this light, nothing special, no special features, no bad, no graphs or charts, just a simple cell here that kind of changes, um, if I can get the focus, it changes when you rotate the wheel around to tell you the different wattages of the light uh, for blue and white. Um, and then you have the different buttons here to allow you to change the different spectrum. So this top one, if I click that, gives me this rotary wheel here that allows me to change both channels at the same time. If I click the one below it, now I'm messing with just the blue channel, I believe. And if I do this one, I think it's the white channel. Um, you can turn the lights off or on with these two buttons. At the bottom, it gives you presets where you can either turn the light off. You can pick white or blue and then run it at 50, 25, or 5%. Um, I think that's only what happens with the blue. If I do white... Go to the other channel. No, I think just using both of these, it gives me those options. But if I do this one, one of them had this, you could only run this at like 50, 25, and 100. For some reason now, it's a lot lower. I'm not sure why. 
Um, so that's the adjustment panel. The next panel over is your scheduling panel. And with the scheduling panel, you can go in and select the light. You can run multiple lights uh, off the same application. Um, it connects directly, and these are the, the days that I have it turned off or on. And I mean, the, the times that I have it turning off or on, I have it running at every day frequency. I want it to come on or go turn off at uh, 6.30 and come on at 6.30 a.m. Um, but again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have not found a way to set up um, a sunrise, sunset programming schedule for this. You do have uh, multiple days that you can set up, or at least one, two, three, four, five, six different programmable days, but I haven't found one that allows you to adjust just the whites and blue independently like the um, instructions say via timer. If I go to the top corner here, that just tells me which light I have that is bound, and if you had others, it would show you how many were um, there. And then if I go here, if I come out of this and go here into this corner, oh, cancel. Now I have this full power mode, so if I click on that, and I go back to adjustment here, am I in full power? Let's see, sorry. Oh, yeah, I, I have it. So now if I click uh, this button here, it allows me to adjust both lights uh, independently, but they're both on at the same time. And in previous menus, it was one or the other, or both in one adjustment. Now you can adjust either spectrum uh, independently. As you can see, I have, if I can get that to focus, somewhere in there. I have it running at 90% blue and 10% white for a total of 100 watts of lighting into the tank. Um, bulb management, um, that allows you to uh, sync or, or uh, attach different devices and add, or add different devices or different lights and kind of control them with the same application. So let's just show you real quick how this works. Um, if I go back to adjustments here, I'm in full power mode. I don't really want to mess up the, the lighting. As soon as I touch this, um, it will jump to wherever you touch it at. So I don't want to like super bright this tank up, but I'm going to do it here so you can kind of see what happens. So if I wanted to dim the blues on this, well, let's, first let's do this. Let's turn the whites all the way down. So now you see the whites are down and the whites are up. If I wanted to dim the blues, I can dim it down to almost off. That is about 50 watts there. I don't know, that's 60 watts. Now I'm up to like 124 watts of blue. And as you can see, it's getting bluer and bluer and bluer um, through the camera. So, like I said, I usually keep that around 100 or 90. Let's go at a 90. And then 10 watts of white. Kind of easy to change this thing. So, then it gives me this spectrum here, which is penetrating all the way to the bottom of the tank, but not super white and not super blue. Right about where I like it, where I can see into the tank because it's not super dark blue. I'm getting that coral pop uh, of color. Um, and I'm not, you know, it's not bleached looking because it's all white trying to penetrate the bottom. Um, so I like it right about there. Not super blue, not super white. Just get the coral pop and still high, have high visibility. And like I said, all of my corals seem to be responding quite well to this light spectrum. Um, and that's the application. So, um, flip this around real quick. I think there are some cons to this, and the cons are that they advertise it to be able to do daylight or sunrise, sunset, and I haven't been able to figure out how to do that. Um, I don't really like the way that the light isn't covered. Even though the LEDs are covered, I wish it would have had like um, sort of like a cover across those little sockets because if I run like my protein skimmer sometimes spits out bubbles and those micro bubbles get spit out to the tank and then you get that foam that comes up I can see the top of this light starting to get covered in salt creep in it and because it's salt if I start to wipe it out it's probably going to wipe off the reflectiveness of that shiny white plastic in it that they're using as a reflector and really take away from the I guess the finish of the light those two things I don't like um, it does have a timer so I like that I don't have to worry about turning them off or on um, it's light so another reason why I didn't like hanging lights is because I was always sort of worried about the light somehow breaking the device or the hook out of the out of the ceiling and then falling into the tank it's light enough to hang without any worries um, and I guess the fact that they said it could run uh, over a 36 inch tank was a little bit deceptive because like I said you, you I don't see any light bleed out of this um, and I've only got over top of a 24 inch wide tank so all in all though for $70 um, compared to the Bosley, not the Bosley, compared to the, the current Marine, compared to the Lumini, I think it was a decent buy. Um, you're going to get coral growth, you're going to get adjustability, you're going to get Wi-Fi function and feature. Um, 
you're gonna get a decent light and not break the bank on like a Kessel for 250 or AI Prime for 300. Um, so if you're new like me, relatively new, and wanna kind of play around with um, different lights while you have a reliable light, this is probably the light for you, and then you can spend some of that money on coral and salt and some of those other things that are more necessary to get your tank up and running and looking good. Just my opinion. Um, so if you have any other questions about this light, please leave some comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, sorry about this being so dark. I'm not sure why it's so dark, but um, as I find out any more about it, I'll definitely keep you guys up to date. If for some reason somebody tells me how to set that sunrise, sunset, if it actually really works, um, I'll get back to you on how that works. Um, and I'll definitely follow up with you if this thing like burns out over a couple months. Because um, I know people, a lot of people are saying, well, 300 watts, um, at a half a watt a piece, that's BS. You can't get that amount of par. I don't think so because a 300 watt, a 300 watt um, Chinese box has about half as many LEDs. So they have twice as many LEDs to get you the same wattage at half a watt as half as many for full watt and you're getting the same performance and growth. With a lot, in my opinion, a lot more spread on lights. So you got corner to corner, at least over this, and you don't have those magnifying glasses, which a lot of people don't like about the, the black boxes, the Chinese black boxes, because they literally are like laser beams of focused light that can burn the tips off of coral and kind of have corals growing in different directions trying to get away from them. This light is blended, even though it has hundreds of LEDs there are no there's no visible disco ball effect so if you like that little shimmer you're probably going to have these work similar like T, T5s you don't have much shimmer on the bottom of the tank or shimmer in the in the, in the light um, in the water but um, you could also fix that if I wanted that shimmer just for that you know water shimmery effect I could also put a single pendant on it and kind of get that back I don't know why some lights give you that shimmer um, and some don't, but my pendants definitely do give you the shimmer. Hopefully I've given you enough information to make an informed purchase on the Bosley or Relassi Reef LED Grow Light. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hey, I'm still waiting for the Scottio R2 if you guys have been following for that reason. I haven't heard anything back. I know Adobo got, uh, the original Adobo got one, and a lot of guys who don't even do drone reviews got them, and I'm anxious to hear one. I'm going to get mine or hear something back on mine. So stay tuned. Uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. I'll get back to you later. Talk to you. Bye.